Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, God's Promise to the Wicked. In our scripture, Psalm 104. Let all sinners vanish from the face of the earth. Let the wicked disappear forever. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God's promises are never dropped or discarded. The will of God towards evil and good is always preserved and immutable. This unchanging character of Almighty God is expressed through His Word. Isaiah's prophecy explains in chapter 55, My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. The rain and snow come down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. It is the same with my word. I send it out, and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. The psalmist's prayer that sinners, those who reject the will of God, will vanish completely from the earth is validated in heaven by John's end-time revelation that God will make all things new. Wickedness in its evil intention towards God and everything God rules, which is everything, will disappear never to return. Revelation chapter 21 And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. John writes about new, and that usually means to we of the 21st century, the new car or the new house or the new relationship. We think newly created. But there are also new times and ways. God's promises are of change. In the final judgment scene, we read that all evil persons, spirits, and even the memory of them will be wiped from the earth and cosmos as God wipes away every tear and banishes sorrow and pain. It is the new day promise of God. And in that final judgment of God, every sin ever committed against God's holiness in person, there are unimaginable horrors for those who have rejected the loving offer of God to be forgiven. The very thought pains us to imagine people we love and care for, and even those whom we've never met, suffering for eternity. Indeed, for those who think clearly, imagine that punishment pronounced on your own life. It is, as Cain said, when God put the mark of quote-unquote sinner on the one who murdered his own brother, Abel, it's too much. I can't bear it. For you today, the promise of God to those who reject God's offer of forgiveness for sin is that they will bear the mark of Cain throughout eternity. Years ago in Alaska, the distance between places was long and marked by wilderness and seclusion. At the start of one long stretch of quote-unquote highway, which was really just a single unpaved cut path, there was a sign that stated, Choose your rut carefully. You'll be in it for the next 200 miles. This is God's sign for the future, which is much longer than Alaska's highways. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.